Very cool. And let's see. Um, so uh, this is a little bit more on the, I guess, Zen or um, like mind-body holistic side. Um, I understand that you're also a yoga instructor. Um, tell me what that's like, and do you feel that influences your work with Tara Heather Cake Designs? Yeah, so I I haven't been teaching for the past couple of years. I was a teacher um, for a couple of years, and prior to that, I had been practicing yoga and Pilates for many, many years, probably a decade prior, and I, I loved it. It was so different from what I do in my business. It's, um, very energetic. I'm, you know, around people I'm, um, you know, leading a class, I'm engaging with people. I'm very hands-on. Um, so it's definitely a nice kind of, I would say not stress reliever, but just to step outside my usual environment. And that's what I really loved about it. Um, you know, it kept me fit and active as well, which I really loved. I will say the reason I initially quit was because of COVID and uh, I had wanted to go back. And I think with that one specific company I was at, there's certain things that I felt were a bit unethical. And I think that if I do go back, I actually am in talk with another studio and I might be going back um, maybe in another month, but um, I, I know for sure that if I go back, I want to work for a company that I, I really align and believe in one that is actually there, not just for um, their, their uh, students, but also for their employees as well. And it's not just there to make money, but they actually genuinely care about them and their well being. I know that I do need to set boundaries. I, uh, there, it kind of got to a point where I was just teaching and then working so much to where I didn't. I, I kind of didn't have much time for my, myself, my own practice. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I know that if I go back, I need to have boundaries mm -hmm. and limits in terms of how many classes I teach and be able to prioritize my own mental health and my own well being. But I definitely miss it for sure, which is why I am considering. So it's something I definitely want to, want to think about. So hopefully soon we'll see. There you go. I think, um, if you follow your heart, it will definitely lead you the way that it's supposed to be. So the path. <laughs> so well, thank you. You're welcome. And then um, just a couple more questions here. Um, what is your favorite ingredient to cook with and why? I'm not sure if you get this question a lot or. I've gotten similar questions. People will ask me, you know, my favorite flavors. Um, that's challenging because I use a lot of ingredients, but I would definitely have to say maybe coconut. Coconut mm -hmm. is very versatile. It, mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of people with dairy allergies. There's a lot of people with nut allergies, not so much coconut and coconut is just so versatile and that you can use it, not just in your vegan baking, but you know, your non-vegan desserts as well. Um, it's one of my favorite cakes too. They seem to come out very light and fluffy. Um, also I use it when I make my vegan salted caramel, I use a full fat coconut, um, cream and, um, it, it, people would sometimes ask, will sometimes ask me if it has like a coconut -y taste, but it actually doesn't. I think the caramelization of the sugar and adding in, you know, vanilla extract, um, and then of course the sea salt kind of blends together and it takes away from that coconut taste. Um, some people don't mind it if I, if they can taste it. Um, but yeah, I love it. I use it in my, like all my vegan cakes pretty much. So. Very neat. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, of course. And, mm -hmm. and then um, if our listeners would like to connect with you, what is the best way for them to do so? Yeah, so I would say in terms of ordering email, my my website is the best way to order. Okay. Um, but if they have questions or want to connect more on a personal level, I would say Instagram for sure. Perfect. I'll be sure to include your uh, website information and the any additional contact information in the um, podcast episode. Perfect. That would be great. Well, thank you so much again for your time, Tara. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. See you soon. Thanks so much. You too. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.